for the people so apparently there was this new article about Blade and let's just say that he's one of my absolute favorite Marvel characters so now that he's a part of the MCU I think it's safe to say that Blade from 1998 is one of his best performance and one of his best movies in my honest opinion because when you're watching this movie it feels like it came in the 2000s when it came to the music and the soundtrack and the fight scenes alone it was so done perfectly it was done in a spectacular way so you know Wesley Snipes is a martial artist so I think if he comes back in the MCU that would be something I can remember forever we've seen from Spider-Man No Way Home that previously versions of popular characters in different incarnations of the franchise are now free to make their way back into the big screen. This is the multiverse we are dealing with, which means there are almost no rules around actors, characters, timelines, or anything else. It's all fair game, and it looks like we are going to have another popular character return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the largest giant freaking robot exclusive from our trust and proven source that is Kevin Foggy wants Wesley Snipes to return as play in the upcoming project. The multiverse is alive and well and we could be getting our favorite Daywalker back into the well <laughs> back into the MCU mix. Yeah, um, despite my tumbles, I think it's safe to say that Wesley Snipes is returning to the MCU and I hope he does because you have Two blades working together to fight vampires and top villains. One can assume that the classic blade and the current blade you have now, it's gonna be something. And I think this is one thing that the fans can expect and look forward to. Because if they do great, well, if they did great in Spider-Man No Way Home, just imagine them doing the same thing to Blade. One from the 90s and you have your current one and I think it's great I'm here for it and I cannot wait to see it